Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... And you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, uh, all right, I'm coming. Hey, can I get a cab? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. I'll be here. That's the ride, my man. Here's what I like to see. A young man with an interest in the Second Amendment.
What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that would fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing, but you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Oh, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, come on. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save it. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin West... Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you... What y'all... Do is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. 
Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big shape. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Here are the buildings. Watch your sectors. Chief, all you gotta wait. Hold on, I'll be there. I need some help, man, quick! 
Hold tight, dog. Please, hold tight. Hey, these are fools picking on you. There you go. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass. That's just one. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. What was your daddy drinking when he skipped you out? Bob, ah, hit the fucking floor. Come on, come on. You better spell out of here. Can you get to him? Shit! Fine! I'll try and find him! What's the problem, T? Come on, T, cut it out! A shit show. We keep putting them down until they stop pulling up. Hey, we'll get through this. Get your ass back. They come for me. I'm closing them out. This guy!
This one's mine! I'm putting him down! This is a shit show! We keep putting them down until they stop pulling up! Keep your... your heads! Oh, I'm failing over here! I'm gonna shoot down your neck! I'm getting mashed here! Well, you shouldn't have come here! I'm closing him out! For now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yo, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. 
You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. And when I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike on Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now.
buzinho. Hey, the old man's here. He's sneaking the club. I'm doing that. He got it. Clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last... ...reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? <sighs> Yeah, you're looking great. Is it chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. 
Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Is Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last... And he shot him! Let's go! Requesting backup for a 
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. We got a cops in! Protect DW! What the world is yeah. oh. ah. Say something! You're not! Getting kinda bored of killing you, prick! Combat situation. Are you all right? You're gonna die, bitch! What a pansy! How much is asshole paying you? Oh, I hope it was me. worth that. Bend over here, it comes. Get him! I'm here for you. I'm a walking combat situation, assholes! Time to meet your mom. You can't hide forever! Definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. He's after EW. Extra. Cops, it is real. I repeat. Cops, it is real! I just put down half your outfit back in town. You bleed like humans, but I know you're a reptile.
you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliff off the... G-O-H, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally! There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go! Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll never want it. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, get me out of here! Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake. that you giving you money to grow. If you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I don't lose! You're a dead man. This is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. I love you, but I think we need to take a break. Things aren't working out. are usually dead. Two gunmen walked into the main bank demanding gold, drawing teams of police into a standoff. Meanwhile, another group of robbers drilled through the vault wall. By the time the security teams had been diverted from the standoff, the criminals had airlifted the gold out of the city. The scale of the robbery led to a spike in the price of gold. Illegal immigrant news. In news that will please conservatives, oh, many oh, illegal oh. immigrants say they are I told them I wouldn't home. kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Tough in America, there's absolutely no reason to risk 
death coming here. One racist idiot was pleased by the news. We had to ruin this country to make the illegals leave, but it was worth it. You might be surprised to find out that pictures of every room in your home are now online thanks to the I Find Street Maps project. CEO Trip Hammer says teams were sent from street to street using sophisticated cameras You're to take pictures of the guy. inside of people's homes. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so! Oh, ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinion's on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Say one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. 